This is a question we are receiving on the daily when I'm meeting with folks that are thinking of listing uh, and buying a property or if they're in, in the process of purchasing their secondary home, whether it be a new construction, a replacement home, whatever it may be. Case in point, the home behind me here, the Gallegos family. When I met with them, their biggest concern was not just selling the house. I mean, they've been here 30 plus years, right? So it was a lot of uh, mixed emotions about doing this because the other home that they were buying, which was new construction, isn't completed yet. It was still five months out. So when we got together, I had actually told them, you know, maybe we should wait another month or so before uh, we do too soon. And then your home is selling and you know, we have a big gap of time here. But I had assured them too, I was able to get them a couple of months on the negotiating part where they can stay in the home. So here's what ended up happening. We put the house up for sale, but we did it a little differently. We actually, I gave them three pricing options. The one they chose was one that was just at fair market value. And then we would use our marketing machine to create so much buzz and excitement that we could literally pick our best buyer and that they would actually follow through with our terms versus theirs, right? And so here was the result. We put together a number of different video series like this of the home, but not just selling the property, the actual lifestyle, right? The parks, walking distance to the best school, some awesome eateries, so on and so forth. And then we brought in the house and everything else that that came with, 3D tour, our professional photography, and then of course these videos of just showing the walkthrough of the homes and the result was not doing your normal traditional home on the market showings every day type of thing or weekend open houses we took three days we promoted those three days in advance so that we could have this buildup of qualified buyers and more importantly we pre-screened every buyer so that every buyer coming through had given us financials and their purchasing capability and if they hadn't we were not allowing them in to see the property. So it's a very methodical process, which is a little opposite of what you see on the regular of, you know, just random people coming into your home essentially. But it was key because what this allowed us to do was actually get the right buyers through the home, but then more importantly, negotiate every single one of those buyers. I was negotiating on my client's behalf with their agents or set buyer. We brought in 18 buyers out of the 44 showings we had. Our price we had listed at was a million fifty. Negotiating for them a sold price of one million three hundred and ten thousand dollars. That's two hundred and sixty thousand dollars above and beyond fair market value. More importantly, during these negotiations, I was able to get in writing a side agreement of a rental contract for three months after the close of escrow at zero dollars to my sellers. So not only did they get an amazing price, but they got to stay in the home for three months for free. And now they can close and have plenty of time to move into that transitional property they're going to be moving into, which is, is their retirement homes. But at the end of the day, it worked out for everybody. So if you're thinking to yourself, you know, you might be in this circumstance or you want to kind of start uh, talking about the ideas of what to forecast for, give me a call. 714-335-0844. You'd be surprised with what we can put together for you, even in the marketplace that we're in right now. I look forward to your call. Thanks so much for following us. Keep following us and subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can see us on Facebook and on Instagram. And as always, if you need anything real estate related, I'm here for you. Give me a call. Take care.